CEOs, what's up? It's your boy CEO Abish, and I'm back with another video and it's that time of the week, so let's get into it. What I'm thankful for. Being able to recognize things for what they are, thus being able to accept it and focus on what I can do moving forward. I used to deflect certain things that was already a reality. For instance, if I had done bad on an exam, instead of accepting that I had done bad, I would create this false narrative in my head that as long as I study a bit harder the next time, I'd do better. However, what I was doing wrong was not even looking at my errors on that exam. Just looking at the grade or the errors itself made me feel anxious. I would have scenarios playing in my head that weren't even real and felt real. I would get stuck on the feeling mostly and in doing so, I wasn't able to move on from it. I'm thankful that me accepting things for what they are now allows me to remain present, let alone focus on moving accordingly for the future. Being able to accept the reality of things allows me to push forward instead of go backwards. I'm thankful that I choose not to deflect no more. I'm thankful that I've realized that trying to avoid things for what they are makes things even harder than easier. I'm glad I can move forward freely with the mentality as well as mindset that what I do next is essential. Reality is what you do next. With that being said, okay, I have two screenshots that I feel like go best with what I had to share with you, what I had to reflect with you, all right? So the first one says, life is too short to be constantly searching for peace outside of yourself. I'm gonna say that one more time. Life is too short to be constantly searching for peace outside of yourself. And then the next one, the last one, second but not least, it says this. Every second you dwell on the past, you steal from your future. Every minute you spend focusing on your problems, you take away from finding your solutions. I'll say that one more time. Every second you dwell on the past, you steal from your future. Every minute you spend focusing on your problems, you take away from finding your solutions. So, yeah, like I used to just deflect real crazy. Like I would go OD with that. Like if anything goes bad and it's already a reality, Instead of accepting it, like literally, I think the most important thing when you have a problem, a situation that arises, is just being able to accept it for what it is. So I would just, you know, me not accepting it for what it is would then allow me to have these scenarios in my head. I would create a lot of scenarios, whatever felt the right one, like whatever felt okay, the least harm, like harmful one. Like, which is crazy to even think like that, right? But like, I would just be like, okay. And I would just go along with it. But at the end of the day, like, if I didn't accept it, if I didn't absorb it, if I didn't feel it, then, you know, I was really hurting myself in the end. I wasn't doing myself a favor. So yeah, back then I really would deflect on things. I wouldn't accept things for what it is. And, uh, you know, I was looking for outer peace instead of inner peace. And like, honestly, the problems were like within and I was just like, ignoring it. I wasn't accepting it. I wasn't even like paying attention to it. Like I wasn't feeling it. And so, you know, I love this screenshot cause it's like, life is too, like life is really too short for us to be like searching for external peace, external happiness, external validation. Like all that can come from within, let alone you're like, you're literally able to like, you know, feel peace within yourself. You're able to create peace within yourself. It just starts with accepting your reality for what it is. And then understanding like reality is what you do next. Like what I do next is important. Not spending another second on this problem and focused on just the problem, let alone just deflecting on, okay, I made a mistake. Okay. Why did I make a mistake? How did I make a mistake? Like going into those type of you know, like thoughts allows you to like create peace because now you're you're making peace with the error that you made. You feel me? Like, I think that's really essential. So that's what I reflected on. That's what I realized. I and mean, yeah, like every second you dwell on the past, you steal from your future. Like every second that you spend deflecting, ignoring your problems, not accepting it, um, the harder it is for you to move on to move forward in a peaceful manner with yourself in itself like it's not even peaceful with anyone else you're like literally your own self like i think sometimes we forget that we're we're we are human ourselves so like what we deal with like i feel like a lot of the times we'd be dealing with other people we'd be trying to make amends with other people 
that we forget that we have to make amends with ourselves. Like we have to be like, we have to align with, with ourselves. And, you know, a lot of the times we're always dealing with people instead of our own selves. So, you know, I feel like it's, I've, I've recognized that it's kind of easier or it's easy to make that type of mistake to like not make amends with yourself to, to realize like, yo, you are your own human because of like the amount of people that you're around or that you deal with or you go about like, especially when I was in school, for instance, like, you know, it was, it was kind of really hard to have peace of my own. Like, unless I was living by myself, you know, like, or if I had some time to myself, because I'm, if I'm always around people, then yeah, like I don't have no sense of like silence, like time to reflect for myself. And on top of that, because I would be deflecting so much, I wouldn't even create that type of time for myself. Like, I wouldn't even be, like, in that mindset of, like, okay, I need to have some time for myself. You feel me? So, yeah, I'm glad that I, like, accept things for what they are now and, like, be able to understand, like, okay, what I what I do next, what I how I go about it next is really important. Like, that's the next move. Instead of just focusing on the problem itself, like, creating a solution, let alone... Just being able to move on peacefully. That's what's essential for me. So just having that type of mindset, that mentality of like, okay, what I do next is more important than stressing over this, let alone ignoring it. You know, that allows me to just create peace, move with peace, um, have that inner sense of just, you know, humanity, like for real, like. We don't be treating ourselves humanely, I feel like, sometimes. Or at least for me, like, I'd be forgetting. I'd be so caught up with everyone else that, like, I, I sometimes forget, my, forget about myself. So me being able to accept things and not deflect allows me to remain present and also just appreciate myself even more. So that's what I reflected on. Anyways, now it's your turn. If you haven't already, uh, reflect on what it is that you want to reflect about comment down below what it is that you wanted to reflect the, reflect on or what you reflected on or if there's something that was relatable on what I said go ahead leave it down in the comment section below with that being said I'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow or this quote is meant for you because it's literally meant for you and with that being said it's your boy CEO obviously I'm gonna catch y'all I'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow I love y'all peace have a blessed productive Saturday all right all right, it's sunny outside for me. I don't know when you're watching this, where you're watching this, but go outside if you have the ability to just for even a second and just breathe in that fresh air because I'm literally excited. I'm about to go do that right now after this video. So I'm gonna catch y'all. Love y'all. Peace.